Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I'm going to walk you through how to set up a YouTube end card so that you can get more, re uh, more views and more subscribers to your YouTube channel. Now it's very important that you use a YouTube end card because it's going to help you do two big things. Number one, you want people to be on your YouTube channel and watching your videos for as long as possible because what YouTube is looking at to get your videos ranked high in the YouTube search engine is the, how long people are watching your videos. The longer they watch your videos, the more relevant YouTube sees your video as high quality content and they're going to rank it higher in the search engine. Second reason is that you can then become a part of the YouTube Partner Program, which allows you to start using AdSense on your YouTube videos. This is a real nice passive income stream where you will let Google and YouTube put ads within your videos. And anyone who clicks on those ads, you get paid. So the, in order to participate in that YouTube Partner Program at the time of this video, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to get up to a thousand subscribers and you have to have 4,000 watch time hours within the last 12 months. So the YouTube end card is one way to help you meet that requirement very quickly. Now to set it up, it's very easy to do. First thing you're going to do is click on Customize Channel and it's going to take you to your back office where you want to click on Video Manager. When you do, you're going to select your video by clicking on the Edit button. Then it's going to take you to a screen like this and then you're going to come over to the tab that says End Screens and Annotations. Then you're going to click on Use Template. And YouTube's going to give you a bunch of templates. Now, there's a lot of other fancy end cards that you can add, but you'll have to pay a fee for it. But I would suggest in the beginning, just to get used to using end cards, use what YouTube has. And they have a whole bunch of different templates to use. And you can put as many as up to four videos. The one thing that you cannot do right now if you are not member of the YouTube Partner Program is use these templates right here, okay? Because uh, that means, you, you know, the one link meaning you can add a website and the only way that you can add a website on your YouTube video is that you're a part of the YouTube Partner Program. So if you're first getting started with your YouTube channel, you're not going to be able to uh, use these templates. So then what I would suggest doing, you want to keep this easy for the, your viewer. So I would suggest having one uh, video showing up in your end card as well as a subscribe to your YouTube channel. So I'm going to select this template right here and I'm going to click on select. And then what it does is you're going to see two little boxes here. This little small box is going to show a picture of you and it's going to say subscribe to your YouTube channel. Over here will be the video. Now I'm going to put this up a little higher because people read from left to right. So that's why I'm putting the video where it looks like it's in the lower, um, you know, on my right hand side of the screen. Okay. And then because I have a, I have a little talking head down here, I am putting this video up a little higher and you can see you can just um, where you want to put the video. Now what I'm going to do next is this is showing up here. I'm going to click on this little pen, all right, which means edit element. And then you're going to get a list of options. You can either choose the most recent upload from you that you uploaded to YouTube best reviewer which will let YouTube select what they think should be the next video. I would suggest not doing that because what YouTube thinks is relevant and what you think is relevant, not going to, you know, they're going to be two different things. But what I would suggest you use is choose a video or playlist. I would say choose a video. So I'm going to choose a video that is most relevant 
to the video that I that they're watching so in this particular video I'm teaching them how to schedule their YouTube videos I want to put to them to watch next is how they can upload their YouTube description ahead of time and put in like default information so they it saves them time uh, when they're putting in their video descriptions so I'm just gonna click here so you can either click on the video they usually put the last 30 videos that you've done within a month or you can put in the link to the YouTube video so I'm just gonna click this here and then I'm gonna click Save now what I'm going to do I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit and then I'm just going to drag this over. I don't want this showing for 20 seconds. So I'm going to have this come up in the last five seconds. And I'm going to bring that right over here. And then what you can do is you can click this preview button. And then it's going to show you how this is going to look. So when it shows up, you can see this right here. And if I hover over that, it's going to show... Um, it's going to show, if I bring it up here one more time, okay, and if I hover over this, all right, it's going to show uh, my picture here and where they can subscribe and then the next video. So if I come up here and I like what I see, I can click on save, and then what I can do says when screen cannot start after first element oh I have to make a make an adjustment here okay maybe I have to screen that back a little bit let me see if that works all right so I got that saved there so now what will happen is I'm gonna come over I've saved this I'm gonna I'm gonna test it all right so I'm gonna come back let me go to info and settings get the link here do a paste and go okay so if I come to the end of this this is going to show the end card all right now see how that came up here now if I hover over this okay it'll say subscribe to my YouTube channel okay and then right here they can come over and click on this link and they will go to the next video very easy did you find this video helpful today if you did leave a comment and share and if you want to get more training on how to get more leads for your YouTube channel I have a great training that my good friend Mark Herbert did, who is a YouTube marketing expert. And what he did is he created this training, a 90 minute, um, and, and almost a 100 minute video, where he's going in and he's going to walk you through how to do keyword research with your videos using free tools that will show you how you can make sure that you are typing in the right keywords that your audience is looking for. He's also going to show you how to structure your YouTube videos as well as how long they should be so that you can get leads within the next 24 hours. He also has right down below here, he's going to give you a download uh, companion PDF which is 101 video creation ideas and this is a really great it's a four page document that's going to show you all the different ways you can create high content videos that your audience is going to love and that they will want to um, not only watch but they're going to want to subscribe to your channel and become leads and eventually buy from you to get access to this training, all you need to do is go to www, okay, drlisamthompson.com forward slash 101 ideas. Click on the download button and just give me your best email address and I'll send it over to your email box right away. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.